My name is Martin Drews. I'm a senior researcher at the Technical University of Denmark. In the Arsenal project, I'm, uh, I'm leading a case study uh, on southern Denmark, the uh, Wotton Sea region of southern Denmark. And I'm also a workpack teacher of workpack 23 on Norway. It's basically a combination of extreme rainfall, unprecedented that, that, that the region is, is, is suffering in storm surges, it surges from the, the, from, the, from the land, and again, due to climate change with the increased amount of rainfall, it's also rising ground water levels. So all together, one could say, you have water everywhere, except sometimes in summer, where we also in recent years experienced extreme droughts, which, which, which really damages agriculture. So it's, it's really a very potent combination of, of, uh, of climate challenges. One of the unique things of the Rasino in this context is its focus on, on doing a systematic innovation approach where you basically you listen to the different stakeholders because all of these challenges they affect many stakeholders in a different way. So if you don't understand what are their challenges, what are the implications for them, it's almost impossible to figure out how to actually devise solutions that are not going to just satisfy one of one challenge, but satisfy all. So one of the things is the systems innovation approach really involves people on the ground with different disciplines. The other thing is the, is, the, is the approach where we use digital approaches, modeling approaches to really quantify the costs and benefits and, and challenges and risks in terms of these very different uh, assets that are different from the region. At the end of the project, uh, the stakeholders that we have on board uh, really want to see a way forward. Because right now, it's just incredible challenges that they don't know how to cope with. So what they, what they would like to get out of this is simply knowing what to do and, and getting kind of a feeling for or, or a catalog of some of the solutions that they can that, that, that they can implement. So you could say like a cookbook going forward with the tools going with it so that they can actually use this and take this take the next steps themselves. I mean I, none of our stakeholders expect that we're gonna be done by the time Asino is there, but it's like a you know booster kick in, in sort of the right direction. And and, and in that case it's a, the project has been very timely in terms of doing this because Several of the municipalities uh, that are the main stakeholders in our case study are, are actually developing plans that are more holistic than they've been before and they are really struggling to find out. So here, you would say real life challenges and sort of academic challenges really comes together 